Right now, someone can log into your Windows account without needing your password. Today, I'm going to show and explain how a hacker can do this. And at the end of the video, I'll show you what settings to change on your computer to prevent this from happening to you. And if we right click, hijack, it just automatically locks us into the administrator account. This attack is called session hijacking. But what is a session? A session starts when you log into your Windows account and it consists of all the processes running on your desktop. Now a session could still be running when that user isn't using his account, just like the administrator account right here. To end a session, just putting your computer to sleep won't work. You need to sign out, just like how my math teacher needs to sign his divorce papers. If we try to connect to the administrator session, we need to put in the password. And session hijacking is just a method of connecting to another session without needing the password. By the way, this video is for educational purposes only. Now I'm going to demonstrate this with the proof of concept that I made last year called session exploit. So when I run it first, it's going to give us a UAC prompt because you need to have administrator privileges to make this work. So we click yes and there it is. So this is the session that we're running right now. We see that the state is active, we have admin access and our session ID is one. And below that we see the administrator administrator user account and we see that the state is disconnected so he's not currently using it. Now if I right click on the administrator I'm gonna have all these options show up. So we can see some basic information about the user account and we can see the last login which was seven minutes ago. We can also see all the processes currently running on the user account. All this stuff. It's like we're looking at his task manager. Now we can also change the user's password. And this is as easy as just typing a new password clicking on execute. And now the final feature the point of this video is hijack. So right now I'll show you that I'm logged into my account right here. And if we right click, hijack, it just automatically locks us into the administrator account, just like that. So now, how can you mitigate this? Hit Windows key R and type gpedit.msc. This is going to open the group policy editor. Go to administrative templates, Windows components, scroll down, and you should find remote desktop services. Then remote desktop session host and click on session time limits. Now double click the top setting choose enabled and on the drop down set it to one minute this will close all disconnected sessions after one minute so no one can hijack it anyway that's it for today i hope you enjoyed like sub join my discord server and i'll see you next time